Hey, Ryan Fritz here with Science of Cardio, talking about some keys that I personally do. Um, I have a kind of a, a wake up drink that I have. It's lemon water. Um, that's to stimulate digestion, uh, gets the gallbladder going. I add apple cider vinegar, which has some really uh, good protein enzymes that help with absorption and allow the nutrients to get kind of pulled into your cells and your bloodstream. Um, I throw in ginger. Ginger has a good kind of antioxidant or prevention of cancer property. Um, I put cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon has the same thing, antioxidant property. And then I put in curcumin or turmeric. Uh, you can find these at a grocery store. It's just a kind of a herb uh, that helps with anti-inflammation. Um, really kind of allows your body to kind of uh, drop the inflammation in the cells down. So that's kind of a wake up juice. Um, I usually try to journal first thing, sometime in the morning, write down what I'm grateful, uh, you know, some sort of gratitude of what I've accomplished, maybe the day before, the week, or the, you know, recently, and then project and kind of you know, set a goal of, I want to accomplish this today or work on this maybe this week or in the future. Um, obviously, you got to get your exercising in. Um, that is going to be beneficial on so many levels with cellular repair, um, weight management, getting your hormones going, feeling good, maybe suppressing your appetite. And, um, you know, I try to, for breakfast, I try to have some sort of leafy greens. Uh, our body requires a lot of potassium. Uh, we do a lot of muscle contractions. That's one of the um, chemicals that's required for muscle contractions. Most people don't eat enough potassium throughout the day. So the average human uh, adult person should be getting somewhere between seven and 10 cups of greens a day. That's a lot. So even, you know, starting out doing it three, you know, once at each meal, three times a day, uh, will help you on the right path. Again, it requires a lot of, you know, nutrition to get what we need, what our bodies need. So add that, start adding naked greens to your meals. And then uh, another thing that I do, either when I wake up or before I go to bed, is I will take a kind of an ice or a cold shower to stimulate brown fat. Uh, brown fat helps with metabolizing fat cells and it helps out kind of with the usage and uh, kind of breakdown oxidization of your fat cells. So we're trying, most people are trying to use fat as an energy source more and more. So you want to lower your kind of intake of carbohydrates and reduce kind of your grain intake. And that adaptation and doing that over time, you want to, um, basically your body will start using and metabolizing fat more and more. Doesn't happen in a day or a week. So it's a process, it takes, you know, eight weeks, 12 weeks, two, three, four, or five months for your body to start using fat as an energy source. Um, so kind of with that lines, I will try to do intermittent fasting, which is taking uh, four, six, eight, 10, 12, maybe 24 hours in between meals. Um, I usually do a 12 to 18 hour fast once a week just to rest my digestive system. Um, and then throughout the day, maybe two, three days a week, I won't eat breakfast. I'll go, you know, from dinner all the way till 10, 12 o'clock the next day and have lunch. Again, it's to decrease my calorie intake for one. Two is to allow my nervous system and my digestive system to relax. Um, there's tons of great benefits that happen with fasting. Human growth hormone, it spikes up. Um, so it would be a good time to work out kind of in the morning while you have these uh, high human growth hormone levels. You get maximum benefit from that. Uh, again, usually uh, when we exercise, it suppresses our appetite because of the hormone levels in our body and what's happening with repair and kind of the resynthesis of kind of cellular tissue. 
So hopefully these are some great things. Um, you know, if kind of the final or the end of the day, it's all about sleep. Sleep is the best thing that you can do for your body to repair itself and again, help that process or that cycle of regeneration, repairing and creating adaptation. So we stress our body out, um, either nutritionally, physically, mentally, and then we rest it. And then doing that, you know, series over and over and over continually for, you know, three, four, five weeks, six weeks, 12 weeks, um, that creates adaptation. So hopefully this is great information. Maybe it'll get you thinking a little bit more. I encourage you to research, look at things online, look at studies. Uh, about these topics and learn more, dive more, and uh, keep healthy, have fun, and enjoy life.